The future of aerial combats will be decided by long-range radars and beyond-visual range missiles. The early detection and engagement is going to give the edge in aerial combat scenario. Therefore, it's very important for India to quickly develop its long-range missiles, especially beyond-visual range missiles to be precise, like Astra Mark II and Astra Mark III to meet Indian Air Force requirement. Now, there are a few updates coming from DRDO as well as from news agencies about the upcoming Astra Seas of Missile. However, before we start, let's quickly revisit the progress made in development of Astra Mark II missile. The maiden captive and launch drop trial of Astra Mark II missile was conducted in the year 2021 from Su-30 MKI fighter jet. During this trial, Ejection and retraction mechanism of missile was tested for the very first time during the launch using ejector launcher. Now, talking about the recent update, as per the 16th April report from ANI, India is planning to carry out the first test of the 120 to 130 km range Astra Mark II air to missile in the next few months. The report also confirms that Astra Mark I has already been integrated with LCA Tejas and Su-30 MKI fighter jets. Now we all know that Astra Mark II is going to massively boost the Indian Air Force air superiority. The missile is a dual pulse variant of Astra Mark I having maximum range of 160 plus km in head-on chase mode and around 40 km in tail chase mode. Though NI reports its range to be 120 to 130 km, the previous reports have indicated Astra Mark II having a range of 160 km. India is also developing Astra Mark III, which is its own version of famous Meteor missile. This missile is still in concept stage and preliminary work on it has begun. The missile is going to be based on SFDR technology, that is solid fuel ducted ramjet technology. Now the SFDR has three-phase propulsion regime of future ramjet BVR air to missile, which includes initial boost phase, mid-course phase, and the end game phase. The SFDR-based propulsion enables missile to intercept aerial targets at a very long range at supersonic speeds. It will be used in developing very long-range air to missile with a range more than 100 km to 300 km. Now, DRDU has already completed the ground booster, nozzle booster performance, and separation trials of SFDR technology. DRDU is working towards development of full-fledged missile. The most recent trial of SFDR-based technology was conducted by DRDU on 8th April 2022. A smart missile, which is going to be based on SFDR technology, will have range in excess of 300 km. The trial of this missile is also expected in the year 2024. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.